Welcome back everybody, this is Blue Boy Renee coming at you from ARG St. Louis and we have here Patrick Coven who top 16 with what deck, Patrick? Uh, Necroz. Necroz, okay, cool. How you felt this, today and this like weekend? Um, good, I mean, I, I liked it. I finished first after Swiss, but then uh, I got destroyed in top 16. Um, I lost to a mirror match. Uh, I probably I probably messed up game one. Um, there was a chance I could have won, and then game two I just kind of bricked. So. You misplayed? Yeah. It happens, we, we got Jeff Jones over here helping. Oh, man. Well, let's um, get down to your deck profile, buddy. All right. Uh, I played one Trish. I always found the second one, like, unnecessary. Um, I played Gungnir instead, because, like, all right, these cards kind of suck to draw. Like, they don't really advance your game state, so, like, you don't really want to play too many cards like this. But um, Gungnir is, like, you can't... I don't want to play cards like Book of Eclipse because like they're not very good to draw also. I'd rather just play like one card that I can search for defense. And that used to be like the extra deck's place, but because of like Colossalus and Unicorn, you can't really do that this format. And I feel like Gungnir just kind of fills that void of like being searchable defense from uh, that's not from the extra deck. That's pretty good idea. Um, two Colossalus, um, two Brio, three Valk. Um, like three Valk or like I, I hear people I like it in the match like. It's not very good in other matchups, and I would tag one out in every matchup that isn't a mirror match, but like, for the mirror match, it's really important to have, um, pretty much always. Like, you want it in every hand, you want to draw it, and sometimes you want multiples as long as your hand's like, uh, as long as your hand's good, you want to be able to summon one and still have one in hand, so, um, yeah. Uh, three Unicor, um, two Shrit, three Manju, um, I, I only played two Sinju, um, it's mostly because I played also two Mathematicians and Armageddon Knight. And the reason I did this, I kind of send you mostly because I don't want too many normal summons. Um, but I played these because it works well with Rhoda. And it, it, it's kind of like a whole little engine almost. I played uh, Dragon, Tackle Crusader, Bull Blader, uh, Jin, and Bulb. And like, Alright, these are all not very good draws, um, but so is like Book of Eclipse, so is Regeki, so are all the cards like that that people play instead of them. Like, I'm maxing out on combo cards, so it's not like I'm replacing these. Um, or it's not like these could be good draws anyway, but then like when I don't draw them, I can still get value out of them when they're in my deck. Um, I didn't want to like go extra hard with Mathematician, um, just because he's not searchable off Rota, where Armageddon is. Um, but I still wanted a uh, rotable Jin out, so I played the. That's why I played Tackle Crusader. Um, but then this being able to send Bulb is kind of cool. It acts as uh, like a third and a fourth send you that can like attack through Valk. Like it can just do a lot of neat things. Yeah. Um, and then it's also really good against like all the rogue decks because uh, we play the Dragon and Tackle Crusader. So like the floodgates don't really hurt as much. Like I don't want to commit to maining MST because it's like particularly bad in the mirror. Whereas like. Mathematician is kind of good in the mirror because you can just make Herald. Um, but then, uh, since you do play them, then you don't have to actually draw the MSTs to like outflood gates against other decks. Um, and I, but I still wanted to play uh, Rotable Jin out, so I still played Gold Leader. And then I played Jin. I, I actually don't like Jin in the mirror match at all. Um, I really only played it for uh, the other matchups. Um, and like they're going to have an out to it in the mirror. Like there's, there's just too many outs that the chances are so high that I don't really think it's worth it to go it in the mirror. But I wanted to main it for the other decks. Um, and then I also played uh, Prep, 3-up start. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, two of each ritual spell. We, we kept trying the different ratios, but, like, nah, just two and two. Is two, two, two. Yeah. Um, and for the extra deck, well, I guess I'll do the side deck first. Okay, cool. All right, so we sided um, Chanel cards. Oh, man. Yeah, this is um, this is an idea of uh, one of my friends in Italy. Um, they were playing at their nationals today. Um, but the idea is like against the other decks that aren't the mirror match, you just side these cards in and then they'll put it up an extra deck, like uh, they'll leave a construct on the field or they'll overlay a trivia or whatever and then you play Shadal Fusion and you just send, um, like you, it's just a blowout, it's, it's game. Um, one of my favorite things that you can do is like you play, um, it can out mistake because uh, you side in the, the dragons or whatever, so um, oh. Yeah, you that's... play Shadal Fusion, 
um, Sin Dragon and uh, Jin to summon Winda. And then you can uh, discard Colossalus for cycle and then banish the Jin from Grave to summon back Colossalus and then make the guy zero so you can attack over with, with Winda. And, and like it pops a mistake and it's, just, it's, it's very, very good. It's pretty nutty, dude. And like the thing is, they can't really play around it. Like even if they know it's there, they can't, like, you can't not go into your extra deck and really expect to win against Necroz. Like Necroz is so much more powerful than those decks. So, um,. Without it, like if they try and play around this card, they're just giving up so much power that it's good anyway. Um, and then side of three MSTs. Um, oh, the only deck I didn't really, the only deck that wasn't the mirror that I did side this against was Clifford, um, which I cited these uh, mostly for Clifford. Um, and I just still cited the second dragon and when I played against Clifford anyway. Um, then for the mirror match, I played two uh, Seeker Village, uh, three mistakes. Whew. Why mistake? That's a. Uh, you just put up a board and then like flip it, but it kind of sucks. Like it sucks sometimes because, um, like if they straight draw a ritual um, that they can put on the field, then you're kind of in a bad spot. Um, like that, in my top 16, I couldn't even get a ritual on the field, and like I had a mistake in my hand, and it was just like awkward. It's like I could either flip mistake, and then just he's gonna have a couple monsters on the field already, and I'm not or I could not, it'd still get blown out. So, like, it can be awkward sometimes, but, um... Deck lockdown. Yeah, it's kind of, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like the idea of, like, oppression or whatever still. Uh, you just put up a board and set it. And then emptiness, I pretty much just asked them to set this out, but, like, if they didn't side it out in the mirror, I'd side it in. Um, alright, then the extra deck, I played, uh, just one construct and one window. Um... You didn't really need more. I mean, we thought about playing the Water Fusion, but uh, the play I was talking about with Jin and then just like double sending Shadal just seemed better than being able to fuse when yeah. you drew like Shadal Fusion, Shadal Necroz card for an underwhelming play when they didn't have an extra deck. So we just decided not to play the Water one. Um, and like we weren't siding it for the mirror or anything. Um, and then I played Diamond Dyer, Exoton. Um, I had a bottom with that stupid diamond earlier. <laughs> had me freaking worried. I, I don't know what these are called, but those things. Teller, <laughs> diamond, fair stuff. cards. Um, Emerald, uh, Lava Chain. I missed the second one, but I mean, like, if we're playing cards like this, I guess you have to cut something. Um, Karen Gorgon, just for when we cited a mistake, so they can't like MST. Yeah. And then um, Dweller, Cowboy, and yeah, Rhapsody. And then a 12 and two fours. Um, I kind of missed Star Eater and I missed the second Lobble Chain, but other than that, uh, there was nothing else I missed in the extra deck. Um, and like, I knew I was going to miss those. Like, there are a bunch of cards that like come up very rarely. Like, Rhapsody doesn't come up often. Uh, the second Lobble Chain doesn't come up often. The second Emerald doesn't come up often. But like, they all come up. So it's just like you kind of have to pick something and play it because they're all going to come up and you're just going to miss whatever you didn't play. Um, so this weekend, I guess I just missed the like second demo uh, and second level bubble chain. But yeah, that was the deck. How many cards? Did you well, play? congrats uh, on getting 40, top 16. 40. How many cards was this? Uh, 40. Yeah, with three upstarts, like 37. <laughs> what? Oh, oh my gosh. Well, congrats again on your top 16. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you at next time at, uh, wh where's the next uh, Yeah, we're going to Jersey next weekend. Jersey next weekend, yep. awesome. Well, congrats, man. Take it easy. Blue Boy signing out.